Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Youth Man. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about REW, which is Room EQ Wizard, and we're specifically gonna be looking at how to set limits. But before we jump into the video, if you guys are into home theater, audio and video, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified when the next video drops. All right, guys, in my last video, I took a dive into the Room EQ Wizard which is also known as Roo. Now this was pretty much my first time using Roo and so I'm just learning how to use this software to kind of look at frequency response in my room and to find out in particularly where is a good placement in my room for a subwoofer. Now in the previous video I showed you some graphs, some charts. We ran different frequency responses between two subwoofers. We were looking at the SVS PB16 Ultra subwoofer and comparing that to Power Sound Audio's S3611 subwoofer. So a lot of you guys commented on the video and several of you provided me with some great tips on how to better utilize REW. And one of those tips is in reference to setting limits and one of the comments that I received was from Coolmaster1979. He says one recommendation, set the left side of the graph to 10 hertz instead of 15 hertz. The PSA should have considerably more output at that frequency. Now when I read that comment, I replied that I indeed had seen on the charts that it only went down to 15, but I thought maybe that was a limitation either in the microphone or maybe something that I did wrong. But today I opened up Rue, pulled up those graphs, and I looked at the bottom and what do I see? I see a scroll bar. And so I could actually scroll to the left and see further down than 15 hertz. And so then I received another comment in that same conversation from Midnight Magic. And he says, Youth Man, up in the top corner, you need to set the graph limits. The usual frequency limits are 5 hertz to 200 hertz, and the dB limits are 45 dB to 105 dB. So in this video, we're just going to make a real quick video, and I'm going to show you how to do that. And then what I'll do is I will re-export each one of those um, graphs and then I'm gonna upload those to my website and so I'll update those so that you can see the full spectrum all the way from 200 Hertz down to what we tested at which was 10 Hertz and so let's switch over to Rue and let's check it out all right so we're back in the project file that we were using from the previous video and if you look down here in the bottom left you'll see that the frequency response starts at 15 Hertz so what we were noticing is that, say for instance, on this line right here, which represents the PB16 Ultra, you can see it begins to lose some output as the frequency goes from about 20 hertz down to 15 hertz, but we didn't see how much further it went, and we also didn't see how the uh, PSA S3611 performed at even lower frequencies than 15 hertz. Because remember, during our test, we actually tested down to 10 Hertz. So what I did not recognize and, and realize is there's an actual scroll bar right here. So if we click on it, we can actually slide it to the left. But once we slide it to the left, you'll see now we're missing some information over here. So the way that we fix that is we can come up here to the limits as suggested. I'm gonna click on that. And instead of the left being set to 15 Hertz, I'm gonna drop that down to 10 Hertz, which is what we measured. And I'm going to leave this at, set at 120. Basically, we just want to be able to see uh, the highest points. And the actually, the lowest points is about 70. So I'm going to increase this just to make it a little bit easier to see. So we can go up to, let's just say, 65. So we'll do 65. And actually, I'm going to reduce this a little bit again, just so we can see the graph a lot bigger. And then we're going to hit Apply Settings. So now what we see is a bigger picture here. So when we look at this particular graph, the SVS PB16 at 20 Hertz, we're at about 105 decibels. But then as it begins to drop in frequency, right here is where they cross paths. So that's at 16.61%. So that's at 16.61. So that's at roughly 16 Hertz. So as we drop down a little bit further, Let's say that's uh, 15 and a half. 
So 15 hertz would be somewhere about right there. So at 15 hertz, eh, close. It's probably a better way to do this, like manually dialing in. But that's roughly 15 hertz right there. So we're down 97.3 dB on the PB16. By the time we get down here to 10 hertz, the PB16 is putting out about 78 decibels while the S3611 is putting out right at 104.9 decibels. So you can definitely see the S3611 does have a lot more output down to those lower extensions. All right guys, well now that we know how to set the limits so that we can see the full spectrum of how much we measured each one of the subwoofers down to 10 hertz, what I ended up doing is I went ahead and re-exported each one of those graphs and I've re-uploaded those to my website. So if you're interested in seeing how well the PB16 did compared to the S3611 in that lower frequency range down to 10 hertz, I'll post a link to it down in the description below. It's over on my website at youthmanreviews.com. Alrighty guys, well I want to give a big thanks to Cooler Master 1979 as well as Midnight Magic for giving the suggestions on how to set the limits on Roo and in Roo. And so thank you guys so much for your feedback. And before I wrap up the video, today in the US is Thanksgiving. And I just wanted to let every one of you guys know that I am super thankful and grateful for you on this channel. Without you, I wouldn't have a channel. It's amazing to me that about seven months ago, this channel only had 900 subscribers. And currently today, we're over 12,000. And so I am extremely blessed and I'm actually overwhelmed and very humbled that you take your time out each and every day and each and every week, every time I produce a video, to watch the content, to be engaged in the content down in the comments, and asking questions and giving feedback and just sharing your thankfulness for me on the channel. And so from my heart and our family to yours, we hope and pray that you have an incredible, wonderful Thanksgiving with you and your family. Well guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, man, I produce videos weekly, sometimes once, twice, even three times a week. So make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the bell. So guys, be blessed, and we'll catch you in the next video.